Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Duke and Jeff and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Duke's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. We will also be showing you tomorrow when you pick him up how to put these commands into play in your everyday living situations. Now the first thing that we want to take a moment to introduce is the training equipment that we're using. Jeff is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Duke is going to come home with his very own training equipment. You're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now he is sitting very quietly and calmly next to Jeff's left leg, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is simply proper leash walking and the command is Duke heal. Now at this point, Duke has a job to do, and that is to maintain pace with you when walking. Not forging ahead or lagging behind, but staying next to your left leg and walking like a gentleman. And we have a girl that works here that's 80 pounds and she can walk Duke very nicely. So he's very respectful of walking, of listening, of paying attention. We're using training equipment. We're also using a clicker and treats with him. And Jeff is going to demonstrate that heel and automatic sit again for us. He gives that little tug to get Duke up and moving. When Jeff turns, Duke should turn. When Jeff stops, Duke should sit. Nice automatic sit. And that is, this is the sit stay. It's a hand and voice command and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. Your homework will be to lengthen out the amount of time that he's able to hold it and the distance that you're able to go. You can practice indoors as well as outdoors. When Jeff returns back to him, he walks right back to heel, right back where they started and they take off healing again. And with this kid, we've used every trick in the book. Sometimes we give him little bits of treats to keep him focused. He's easily distracted. Sometimes we use our clicker and a treat. Sometimes we're just using traditional training equipment. Whatever works on any given day, because sporting dogs can be tough, and he's a year old, and he's intact, so... It takes every trick in the book. Now this time, instead of returning back to heel, Jeff is going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. He uses his name, he guides him in, and Duke has been taught to come right in and sit in front facing Jeff's legs, and then they take off healing again. And the trick too with this is to keep the dog's head up off the ground. He is a pointer. He's always looking for wildlife. And it's very windy out here today, so he's easily distracted. Jeff's going to leave him in another sit-stay. And he's going to demonstrate that recall exercise again for us. This time we do use his name, but we don't want to overexcite him. We use our leash as a guide and we bring him right in to sit in front of you. He comes right in and he sits. He gets a click and a treat. Very good job. Jeff has worked very, very hard with your puppy. And even though he's big, he's still a puppy. Yeah. Now this time we're going to demonstrate the down from a heel position. So with him seated at your left, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down. No. You want to have him seated first. Down. Down. 
That is your down from a heel position. Jeff heels him out of that. And because he's intact, the, the smells, if there's been a female out here working or anything at all, he picks up on the scent. Now he gets a click for a good job. But if you notice, his whole demeanor is a lot more quiet and calm than when he came. He has learned that calm and quiet is the way to go as far as getting treats and getting praise. All of those things are very important to keeping him focused. Will he distance down for you, Jeff? Stay. Jeff's going to leave him in a stay and we're going to attempt to distance down. This is a little bit harder. The only difference is you're facing him instead of standing next to him. Now he stood up, so Jeff told him no and repeats it. He gives him a click and a treat for a good job. Now we have demonstrated for you Duke's heel, his automatic sit, his sit stay, his come, his down from a heel, and his down from a distance. He really is a sweet boy. Your homework is just going to be to elaborate on all of these commands that he's learned while he's been with us at school. And as you can see, Jeff and Duke have a very good relationship. So Jeff will be teaching your lesson tomorrow. Duke has been challenging, but he's a good boy, and I think that once we get health-wise and everything he's all taken care of, you're going to have a real good companion for the rest of his life. We've enjoyed having him. Thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company, and we will see you tomorrow.